Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're so happy to see you. And today is a very, very special day. It is the national holiday. Yeah. It is Grammy's day, baby. Mm -hmm. And we are so excited. So naturally we had to make a video about it. Yes. So the Grammys are a time honored tradition for me and Christina. We've been talking about it every year since we met, basically. We're big Grammy fans. Actually, we're not big Grammy fans. Yeah. We're more of a fan of <laughs> the celebration of music. They've gotten yeah. it wrong a lot of times. Insert the video of me reacting to Lore losing album of the year here. And the Grammy goes to 24 Karen So hopefully this year, again, we'll have some more highs than lows. But with these nominations, We'll have a discussion about them. So we're going to go through the general fields and the pop categories, just because those are the ones we think we can have the best discussion about. But please let us know who you're rooting for in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go category by category, tell you who we think will win, should win, and who we'd be upset over if they win. So I guess if we're going to get started, we'll start with best pop vocal album. Yeah, we're going from bottom to top for bottom representation here. It's important to look out for them, you know, in this society. So, um, Christina, want to read off? Speaking Beth, of bottoms, our <laughs> first uh, nominee is Changes by Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. Then we have Chromatica, Lady Gaga, mm -hmm. Future Nostalgia, Dua Lipa, Fine Line by Harry Styles, and Folklore by Taylor Swift. Those are the best pop vocal album nominees. Um, so let's start on who we want to win. So for me, um, I'd be fine with four out of the five of these. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and the only no, person I literally, I'm sorry, after changes, I was like, smash, smash, smash. Like I was like, yeah, the, the only person I wouldn't necessarily want to win in this category would be changes by Justin Bieber, just cause I'm not a huge person. I'm not a huge Bieber fan. I was actually shocked because I was on his Spotify yesterday for some reason, and he's the second most listened to artist in the world, which is like- Really? What? Because maybe- <laughs> Okay, yeah, I guess. Who's number one? I think The Weeknd or Dua. I think The Weeknd though right Speaking now. Speaking of The Weeknd, moment of silence for mm. the biggest snub this year for The Weeknd. It's true though. It really, at least Blinding Lights should have gotten something. Oh, like, something. He was winning every other award everywhere else. You're upset over Justin and who do you think will win? Who do I think will win? No. I'm, I don't know who will win. All I'm saying is I hope that I'm eating my words and this is controversial. I don't think Gaga stands a chance. No, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think she's stands a chance. I think maybe we'll get into it. I think she has a better chance of different Category. categories. Who I think, I, who I want to win is obviously folklore, clear, whatever. Who I will be upset over, same with you, Justin Bieber's changes. Mm -hmm. And I guess maybe unfairly judging that because I've never listened to it. Right. Um, but from my, what I've heard, I can't. No. I physically cannot hit play on an album. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> who I think will win, I think we might get a Dua Lipa win. I think we might get I Dua so in big categories this year instead of Taylor. And I, I think, think so that's going to be a big moment on Twitter. I think Twitter is going to go so in. So. And then next after this, though, we have a category Dua Lipa is not in with best pop duo group performance. So we have One Day by Jay Balvin and all of his friends. A lot of people there. Dua Lipa is uh, there. Oh, never mind. Dua's there. Dua's taking the whole thing, guys. Dua's <laughs> taking the whole thing. What am I saying? Uh, Intentions, Justin Bieber featuring Quavo, Dynamite by BGS, Rain On Me by Lady Gaga and Ariana, and then Exile by Taylor Swift and Bonnie Bear. Again, I'm interested to see who you want to win in this category. Well, there's two clear answers. <laughs> <laughs> like clear as day. Clear as day. Um, and I'm gonna assume yours is the same. Rain on me in exile. Yeah. Imagine I was like, you know what? Intentions did slap. <laughs> um, in terms of who I think is going to win, I honestly think all of them have a pretty fair chance, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna guess 
rain on me. I know that is kind of a little bit biased, yeah. but I do think if I'm going in terms of cultural relevancy, yeah. At the time, I would probably say rain on me. So who do I want to win is Exile. Um who I I do love rain on me a lot. Just Exile is I'm like unbelievably oh. biased towards exile oh like i, I like exile more than i like rain on me don't get it yeah twisted. no i'm, I'm sure but, but i yeah. think we are also biased like i think oh like, yeah <laughs> absolutely we are <laughs> who i think is gonna win i also think it's gonna be exile just because i don't know how many grammys lady Gaga has um i don't know if you know but i don't think Ari i think Ariana actually has one so I think they have a few, but I know Bonnie Bear has gotten at least a few, I think a Best New Artist, um, at least. And he's been nominated for a, a few awards. I think maybe more nominated than Gaga and Ariana. So I think maybe they're going to favor him. And then also Taylor is more awarded than any of them. So I think they're just a Grammy favorite to win that. Right. And, and I think it'll also be Taylor's favorite. first, oh, I think it'll also be Taylor's first um win in that category maybe even nomination right now this one gets interesting you want to get the nominations for me babe yeah we have best pop solo performance and to start it off here he is again he just won't leave us alone it's <laughs> yummy by justin bieber <clears throat> say so by doja cat everything i wanted billy eilish don't start now dua lipa watermelon sugar harry styles and cardigan by taylor swift so go ahead rob who do you want i want everything i wanted to win I love that song. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> love everything I wanted. I'd be upset over. Here we go again. <laughs> Yummy, Justin Bieber. And who I think is going to win. I can see them giving it to Billy. But again, I think this might be a Dua sweep. So I'm going to give it to Dua for who I think is going to win. How about you, Christina? Uh, well, we have similar feelings. Um, obviously, I think yummy compared to everything on this list is so weak like i honest, i honestly and truly believe in that i think it's um, genuinely one of the worst things they've ever done in the history of the grammys is nominate it's this just, song it's just well it's not shocking because it's the grammys but it's just shocking because it's like that's what the world we live in mm, period um i think i want to win um basically all the other five songs obviously um, I love Say So. That was so, that song was huge, like huge. huge. Um, and also, like you said, I'm a huge fan of Cardigan. I don't think it's going to win in this category because I'm not sure why. I would love, I love Cardigan to win. I want, oh. and I think you would agree. <laughs> I agree. The thing you need to know, first and foremost, which everyone already knows, we are Swifties through and through. Number one, she's our yeah. girl in all these categories. Yeah. However, it's not going to be the Swifty Awards. It just can't be. And I think I wish also, it was. I think our expectations low could be an amazing surprise I tonight agree. when the Grammys happen. You know what I mean? I agree. I agree. Yeah. So I'm honestly fine with any other song winning in terms of who I want. No. Who I think is going to get it is either Billy or Dua. Mm -hmm. Is who I think is going to win that category. Yeah. Now we have Best New Artist. Always a very controversial um, category. Yes. And we'll be honest here, I don't know some of these artists. So no offense to them. Never heard of them. Okay, well, <laughs> you know some of them. You know some, some of them. Okay. I know some of them. So best new artist. We have Ingrid Andre. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Ingrid. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Do you think it's Andres? Andre. No idea. Ingrid, okay. Um, then we have... <laughs> Phoebe Bridgers, then we have Chica, then we have Noah Cyrus, then we have D Smoke, uh, Doja Cat, Kate Trinata, and Megan Thee Stallion. And I will say, I forgot that Kate Trinata was nominated, but I'm so excited for him. Love him a lot. Um, but never, I'll go first. Never in my life have I heard of him. You should check out some of his songs. I'll send you a little linky. It's like nice, oh, dancey. I would love to. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. and Canadian. <laughs> I might have so. to edit my list here, Kate. <laughs> Best new artist who I want to win, I don't think is shocking, but it's Phoebe <laughs> Bridgers, who I think um, I'd be most disappointed to win. This is going to be controversial. I I don't want Noah Cyrus to win a Grammy. I just don't want it to happen because 
I don't think Miley has one. And I just don't think it'd be fair for no. Noah to get one before Miley. I'm sorry. No. Um, and then who I think is going to win, I think they'll probably give it to Megan Thee Stallion, which I would be thrilled about. So, yeah. So for me, for want, I have Doja Cat and Megan Thee Stallion. And I do think, I did highlight Megan. I think she has a really good shot of getting it. Um, yeah. And I hope to God she does because she, she deserves it. Like, yeah. not that I'm saying any of these people don't deserve it. No, um, no, no, no. But Megan Thee Stallion, like, has I think we should just made a this. name for herself in the last year and a bit. Like, no. more than a year, I, but you know what I mean? Like, in the I span of these you. nominations. Period. Again, quickly, the only person we don't want to win a Grammy is Justin Bieber. Period. Everyone period. else will be, <laughs> like, thoroughly upset about. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> um. I also have Noah Cyrus highlighted as who I wouldn't necessarily want to win. And here's why. She is not a new artist. No. She has been pushing music for a while. Christina. Song of the year. Yeah. So we have Black Parade by Beyonce. The Box by Roddy Rich, Cardigan by Taylor Swift. Circles by Post Malone. Don't Start Now, Dua Lipa. Everything I Wanted, Billie Eilish, I Can't Breathe, Her, If the World Was Ending, J.P. Sachs featuring Julia Michaels. Cool. Um, Go first, baby. For me, I want, out of all of these, my two favorites are Cardigan and Don't Start Now. Who I think is going to win is either Billie, <sighs> uh, Dua, and I think I also have the box as who I think could win. Yeah, sure. Okay. Song of the year. Who I want to win is Cardigan. Taylor has never won a song of the year Grammy. And I really want her to because it's, Disgusting. it awards, um, song of the year awards, um, like lyricism and songwriting. Mm. And I don't know a song that does that better than Cardigan. Oh, in um, this list? Absolutely. Cardigan especially because I think along with, everything I want and I think it's the one that has the least amount of uh songwriters I think yeah. everything I want and Cardigan both have two yeah. so I think that should also be awarded to that they did this with very little help I not agree. saying you have to have only two people to write a song or one person write a song mm-hmm. but I do think it is an accomplishment yeah to have something so powerful be written by so few people yeah. anyhow so that's why who I want to win and who I think is gonna win too is Cardigan because they haven't given that one to her and I think if they're going to give her anything, it'd be this one. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why. I hate If the World Was Ending. I think it's so corny. Never and heard it in my think, life. It's like, if the world was ending, you'd come over, right? <gasps> that song? <laughs> like the TikTok song? <laughs> no, that's not a Grammy. That's <laughs> not a I, It's so corny. And I just... Song I, of the year really and it's like I could have written that like not to, I'm not trying to be like oh like that is like I could have done that one I think there is so much talent in songwriting yeah. especially pop music and pop hooks I think this is not strong at all and Julia, Julia Michaels, Michaels can do so much I better. love you we love you Julia Michaels um so anyhow so they put that off. song on there instead of blinding lights like yeah that's a slap in the face for the weekend oh slap 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 so the next one is album of the year which i'm always surprised about is considered less important than record of the year but we're just following their order so album of the year nominations um again i'm so sorry if i mispronounce anything here <laughs> i think it's pronounced Chalambo by janae aiko uh or janae aiko um Black Pumas Deluxe Edition by Black Pumas, um, which I'm going to stop right there. The fact that a deluxe edition of an album got nominated when the regular edition of the album was only eligible for the Grammys last year, but this one's nominated because of the deluxe edition is so unfair to me. It's so yeah, unfair. Yeah, that's fucked um, up. Fucked up. Um, Everyday Life by Coldplay. Um mm. <laughs> so there's an album by jesse collier his album no jacob collier i want to say oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> sure who like volume three album by i could have said jesse so... collier and everyone would have been sure yeah and, and like yeah and again 
no disrespect. I should have done more research on how to pronounce these. Um, yeah, sorry. Moving on. Women in Music Part 3 by Haim. Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa. Hollywood's Bleeding by Post Malone. And Folklore by Taylor Swift. So who I want to win, no shocker here, Taylor Swift. I'd also be thrilled, 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 thrilled for Haim and Dua. Um, and then who I would be upset to win is Black Pumas, just because of that. I think it's so unfair that a deluxe edition got a nomination um, when the regular edition would only be eligible for the last year Grammys. Mm-hmm. And then who I think is going to win, I think it's going to be a Dua win here. Obviously, who I want is either Folklore. I think number one, Folklore. Future Nostalgia and Women in Music Part 3, which recently I've been uh, indulging in. And yeah, greatest album of all time, <laughs> uh, me thinks. So I would be, I mean, I think, yeah, I'd be thrilled. I'd be thrilled. Um, yeah. Who I don't want to win, that Black Pumas thing is bizarre. bizarre. And name one person who knew a new Coldplay album came out. Name one. Okay, well, you don't count, but yeah. who cares about Coldplay anymore? Hey, stop. Laura McKinley watches these videos and she loves Coldplay. I know Laura McKinley right loves night. Coldplay. I know she does. I know she does. I know she does. You know what? I know she's rooting for folklore. I know she's rooting for folklore. <laughs> so. Because, like, I know Lauren McKinley. We all know Lauren McKinley here. Big friend of the channel. And I know she likes Coldplay. But she wouldn't look me in the eye and tell me, yeah, Everyday Life by Coldplay deserves <laughs> Album of the Year over Taylor Swift. She wouldn't. She wouldn't do it. She wouldn't do it. Record of the Year, we have Black Parade by Beyonce, Colors, Black Puma, Rockstar, The Baby featuring Roddy Rich, Say So, Doja Cat, Everything I Wanted, Billie Eilish, Don't Start Now, Dua Lipa, Circles, Post Malone, and Savage, Megan Thee Stallion featuring <sighs> Beyonce. <laughs> smash, 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 smash my top three <laughs> I have are Say So, Don't Start Now and Savage mm. um, I think it's going to go to I have a couple highlighted as in terms of think I think it's going to go to either Savage Don't Start Now, Everything I Wanted or Say So um, I also think Rockstar is a big contender as well and there's no one I'd really be upset about because I'm not like, none of these records I'm super passionate about. You know what I mean? Like there's no one I'm like, I will die for this song in terms yeah. of this list. So if anyone else gets it, I would be totally fine. We already talked about it, but I love everything I wanted. However, I would love a Savage win here. I love when Beyonce gets her Grammy. Also love Megan. I love for her. <laughs> I like how we said we want Beyonce <laughs> to get her Grammy from Savage and not Black Parade. Well, I think Black Art Parade's fun. <laughs> I like the beat. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> then, who I'd be upset to win? Hmm. I guess I'll go... I guess I'll go Rockstar because I just don't love the baby. But I wouldn't yeah. even be thrilled. Um, I, I know I wouldn't be like devastated by that win, and, yeah. and then who I think is gonna win, I think again it's gonna be a duo win here. I will say, I do love "Don't Start Now." Like I, oh, <laughs> I remember that point. Like the beginning of the future nostalgia era was so good because you're getting hits after hit after hit. And like and the thing like- is, we were not big Dua Lipa fans before this era. And then no. when that teaser came out for Don't Start Now, I sent it to you and I'm like, this is about to be insane. Couldn't agree more. I'm excited to see everyone who takes home awards. Um, again, you might not know this, everyone, but we're not actually filming this on the day of. So we don't know who's <laughs> performing. We don't no. know if it's going to be a live event, if it's going to be a Zoom thing, who knows? Okay. So I'm excited to figure out what's going to happen. I hope. Um, and maybe we'll be able to film some reactions for maybe specifically this category. See yes. how it does. Um, and then we'll keep you posted on like, we'll see. Yeah, we follow actually... our Instagram because on our Instagram, we'll have reactions there. So yes. how about that? Go follow our Instagram. We'll make sure to post 
uh, because we're out of lockdown now so we can finally hang out again thank you all for watching (laughs) we hope you enjoy the grammys hope you enjoy this video again let us know all your picks down below or if you think we're totally wrong (laughs) with any of these categories bye everyone